Good morning. <clears throat> it's 6.17 a.m. on Friday, February 26th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So, an update on the Windows 10 update uh, yesterday. So, um, once it finished its update, all sorts of things were not working and that was really irritating and a little bit alarming. Uh, thankfully, another couple of restarts and a couple of, uh, like I, I had to reset my modem and I had to manually go into my antivirus and tell it that it was allowed to restart for its own purposes. Like for some reason, me doing a restart without going into that program didn't have that effect. But when I opened it and saw that it had a little notification that a restart was required, once I allowed it to do its restart, everything else seems to be back to normal now. Uh, so at the very least, I have no longer got any lost functionality, except that it's also just like for this uh, update talking all about, oh, exciting new features. I don't know when any, what any of them are. Nothing explained any of that to me. No, it was just something that took a lot of my time and energy yesterday for no apparent benefit whatsoever. Maybe there's some benefit, but they sure haven't sold themselves to me. Uh. Anyway. At least my computer's back and working fine now. Um, I'm a little bit preoccupied this morning because uh, I, I got a little piece of uh, feedback. It wasn't even sent directly to me. It was more a comment on something that I had read. And like, I this is this is not me like complaining about this person in any way. It's more just a matter of. they managed to hit right on something that was my own uncertainty about that particular project. And th this was basically just a reading that I had done for another podcast, reading of a story. And here was the, my dilemma with that story. I am American. I have not uh, made any secret about this. Um, and I was asked to be the reader for a story. The story is set in England. So should I try to do a British accent throughout? It was a first person story. And so if I was like what I've done in the past when it was third person is I might try to do an accent for the dialogue and then not in the narration. Um, but for the first person, I would have to do it throughout. And I feel like I've got an okay British accent, but my concern was that trying to do it throughout, it's like, is it better to do, to try to do a British accent throughout and not entirely succeed or to just not? So I ended up choosing to just not do the accent. And, but I, I always kind of still had this feeling of un, uncertainty about it. And then, you know, I, like many creative people, I tend to, you know, compulsively seek people's opinions about that. You know, it's like, oh, this is where they're discussing it on a message board. And it's like someone goes in there and was just saying, oh, this is just a case where the narration kept taking me out of it because it's set in England and they're not speaking in a British accent. And I was just like, oh, that was like the one thing that I was feeling insecure about with that particular reading. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is in that circumstance. You know, I mean, obviously, if someone is able to just thoroughly do a confident British accent, then maybe that's the best. 
you know, so maybe in, you know, like, you can make the case of like, oh, well, should you've just had, should they have just picked a reader who was British? Well, I mean, you can't always do that. You know, it's like one thing, you know, if, if you have someone available, but uh, you can't always do that, first of all, for no other reason, is these are science fiction and fantasy stories, and some of them are going to be set in places that don't actually exist. And, uh, but, I don't know, it's like... Oh. Luna, no, stop. Luna, stop. Uh. So, I am remain in a real dilemma about it, and so right now I'm feeling like maybe I should have given it a shot, to tried to do the accent throughout. I don't know, though. I just... That feel that feels fakey to me. Um, but maybe I should have just committed to it. You know what I mean? It's like I suppose in movies they have actors who play, uh, you know, someone's playing someone from the south, but they're not from the south. They don't just talk in a regular accent and hope people don't notice. So maybe that's what I should have done. I should have ta taken my shot at it. But to me, it still seems like a dilemma. You know, it's like, is it? Is it better to try doing the accent and do it poorly or to just try to do a straight ahead performance without attempting the accent? Especially when it's like, it's not, so it's set in England, but it's not like it's about the accent. I don't know. Anyway, I'm insecure about my performances sometimes. I'll talk to you guys by uh I'll talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes. <laughs>